the first rookie in Major League Baseball history to hit back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back home runs in his first three games. And uh, as for my part of it and what I had in that and, and for the guys that worked with Matt and seeing that success, that was, uh, that was a treat for us to, to see him and, and know at that moment uh, he's arrived. And uh, that's the type of training, I think, APX of what we represent. It's, it's not only the physicality that we can switch over, it's not the, the, the transference of better function into bodies. It's that attitude, it's that moxie that you have to have. Because if you don't have it, if you don't show up, it's hard to get that grind going four to six hours a day for six days a week for 10 to 12 weeks straight. That is a mental grind. But when you have those athletes, you can transfer that. And you saw what he did. And, and how he just came out of the box and just booming. Guy like Matt Kemp, he can do it again. This is no different than, than what we did with Matt down in AZ and all those guys down at Junior Spivey, Quentin McCrack, and you name it, Steven Randolph. Uh, guys that uh, have put forth the innings and then they have the contracts to show, and, and now kids can come up here and you have a great ambassador to baseball up here, Jeremy Affeld, what he does. Uh, back, you know, World Series champ, set up man of the year. He has had a tremendous five-year run since his inception to training in APX in 2008 and nine. He needed to make a change, but yet he was a guy that was already contracted for um, millions of dollars and, and very successful at what he does, and this just gives you that extra kick. The 2-2, two, two. Two out. Second strikeout for Affelt. Little flaring to right. Cody Ross coming on. Nice catch. Got a good jump. And a 1-2-3 inning for Affelt, who has faced six. Retired all six. Well, we're using the muscles here that I would use in a baseball situation. He'll get me on a mound, and I'll start basically exploding off of a mound, but he has, me, he has resistance behind me so he can, can train my body to explode off a mound. So he just does different creative things that work the body, I guess, that work the body with the position that I have as a pitcher. Uh, he, he sees me as a pitcher, he trains me as a pitcher. He's got hitters here, he trains them as hitters. We do different drills that basically help us perform at our position and hopefully at our, you know, we can perform at a peak level. And I think that's, for me, what he's done with me. And this is why I feel good going into spring training. I feel like I'm in condition, I'm stronger than most guys. I feel like I'm ahead of the game rather than behind the game. 2-2, two -two. got him upstairs, one away. And we had a bunch of uh, Diamondbacks from the 2001 World Series teams. And Florida, center field, the Diamondbacks are world champions. Well, if you're not doing it, you're going to fall behind. Plain and simple. I mean, that, it's, it's funny. We have our workouts, and I have a lot of my guys that are coming here. Most everybody I can send here, I do, but I have a lot of out-of-town kids here. I mean, I'm dragging them in from out of town uh, to do this, and, and I've had to tell them, and now that they've seen it, I'm just walking around seeing I told you so. I want more core stability here and using that stink rather than leaning so much, okay? Rely on your athleticism. Get a little closer to it. Ready, go. I just feel like there's no burnout. I mean, you, you come in here and you train so hard every day, and you have to come back and do it again the next day. And so, I mean, it's not only just the weightlifting. I mean, there's the nutrition side of it that I never implemented into anything that I was doing when I was younger. Energy to get through the workouts for games and things like that. Have you guys ever cramped up before? Mm -hmm. Got crampy stomachs, things like that? Same thing. We're going to teach you how to eat so that doesn't happen. I've filled out put on 25 pounds through these workouts and, and even more flexible and it's just really increased arm strength and, and made pitching easier. It's easier to throw hard and, and I'm excited for a season. Um, so what we really do at APX, uh, myself and then the other regis registered dietitian, is we'll take each athlete individually and we'll break down their proper carbohydrates, proteins and fat balance and create pre-workout and post-workout meals around that so that they have their proper pre-workout, post-workout, and then we'll do the right timing, starting with breakfast, lunch, dinner, and all the snacks in between for that specific athlete. It gives us an advantage. When we walk in the yard, we're bigger. We're, we're big, we're strong, we're athletic, we're tough. 
and that gives us an advantage because there's a lot of good athletes out there and you know how are we going to compete with them we're going to have a mental edge and advantage to against those guys every time we play them. You know, I started just maturing a little bit more and obviously APX helped put on the weight and the strength and then over the summer my velocity started going up and I mean I started striking out more people which is what colleges want to see. Baseball athletes are a completely different set of athletes compared to like football athletes or soccer athletes just because they're on the road so much, they're playing so many games and the amount of mental focus it takes just to get through the entire game um, puts them into a whole different set when it comes to creating meal plans and um, eating the types of foods so that they, they can pl play at optimal performance at each of the games. You know, our kids, we always say you have to earn it every day. I mean, everything you get, I, I use the term own your success. Right? I want, when a guy steps in the box, I want him to expect, expect to succeed because he's friggin' earned it. That's what I want. This kid's earned the right to succeed. He expects it, and that, that, that translates from the physical and the preparation. It translates into confidence. I've earned this. I deserve this. Therefore, they're going to have a better chance to succeed. I just saw a dramatic change right off, like, within that first month, I was sore every day, but I just my body just started to change. I started to get thicker and also get quicker in regards to speed and stuff, and I just had a total change. So what he's done, I think, really, really well with me and with some of the other guys working out here is he's tried to design some stuff indoors that we can do to create, keep, and gain explosion, gain core strength, gain leg strength, uh, upper body strength, you know, with the, with the, and with the band works that we, that we do, the resistance training that we do, I think all those things go into play where you basically you get into camp and you don't feel like you're behind the eight ball. When I get into spring training, I don't feel like that these guys are exploding better than me. Why don't they, why you know I need to get you know, I don't understand why I'm so far behind here, here and here. My leg strength's good. I'm not you know, I'm not sore in areas where I usually be sore sometimes because I was training myself, I was just trying to stay strong. But then I go to camp, we do baseball situations where you're using the muscles differently. Last pitch is a split. Really everything is stuff that I've never done before. It's, it's really cutting edge stuff that even our organization and, and Gonzaga when I was there, we didn't even come close to doing. Um, he pushes you to your, to your max potential without, I mean, you go to a different gear, you have to or else you don't get through it. I just see the, the strength improvements I'm getting, the speed improvements, flexibility, all that stuff is just taking my body. I'm, it's like I'm having a new body going into spring training. Getting back to my running technique and having another pair of eyes such as Drew's um, looking at it, it helps out a lot. I love the, I love the stuff that like you go to from one thing and then it's like the fast twitch, the bands and all that kind of stuff and just little different you know sledgehammers and different things like that that you know you don't get in a normal weight room. Crazy results, strength, I can feel my strength. I actually got faster too. We did tests before and after, I got faster. I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life, even better than the last two. It just keeps getting better. Um, we just continue to build strength. And I've seen you know my, my core and my, my leg strength, especially this year, go way up. Uh, and I probably feel uh, the best I've felt on the mound, you know, prior to spring training. I'm throwing as good as I've ever thrown, if not the best I've ever thrown pre-spring training workouts. And I think it has a lot to do with what he's done with me. The thing is, when I came here, there's nothing like this up here in the Northwest. To come in as a, as a potential Major League Baseball athlete, whether you're in high school, going to be signing, or if you're at the collegiate level, junior college, NAIA Division One, you can have that opportunity. There's a science out here now that we've put in the Inland Northwest that you can come to and actually develop your body just as you would go down in, in Scottsdale, Phoenix area, uh, LA, any of those places down there. Um, and that was a great thing that I saw up here. There was just nothing available for these guys. These guys were having to go down to those areas of the country and, and get training, leave, leave everything up here. We provide the facility, provide the nutrition, dietetics, and physical therapy recovery aspects and the same exact training if not better we'll put more into you and and that was a huge thing that I saw up here and it's been great to see it come full circle now.